The following is a presentation of KBTC Profiles. I'm a firm believer that to make a sacrifice is to receive a gift. When someone sits in my chair to give something of myself, I learn and receive so much more. And so I'm trying to build my life on that foundation. Men for generations have been taught to suck it up. That it's not manly to show emotion. It's not manly to be vulnerable. It's not manly to be open. And it's not true. We all need to be heard. We all need to be loved. We all want to be understood. And we all want connection. My name is Stuart Wentworth. I'm a hairdresser and an artist. I own Black Cat Barbershop in Purdy, Washington. This has been a barbershop for 40 years. I'm the third owner, and I opened up here in October 2020. People call us cheap therapists because there's something about the barbershop or the salon. You see people once a month, once every six weeks, every month for a year for two years, for three years, and you get to know these people, it's not simply a business relationship. There's an intimate sort of connection that is assumed when you sit down in the chair. One of the things that I was always raised um, growing up was seeing people who really struggle in life, you're really looked down upon. Um, people are either afraid of you because you know you're struggling or you don't, you're embarrassed. You're embarrassed to admit that you are struggling in life and there's something going, you know, that's really tough on you at the time. One of my missions is to destigmatize the conversation around men's mental health in general. I've tried to create a place that is safe and judgment free so that people can be honest and share what's on their minds, what's in their hearts. Stress is an amazing thing. And we talk about stress, it's like, like talk about water. But stress is a killer in our bodies. And when we do not manage our stress well, it breaks us down. Stigma in our country is that somehow if you're struggling something with something, you're weak. But I think we're really trying to shift that. And I am seeing, I'm starting to see a change. The Lions Barber Collective, it's this group of barbers out of the UK that put together a training that really brings a lot of focus to prevention of suicide from behind the chair. Stuart was able to put on an event where he raised money so that a handful of us barbers here in the Seattle area could attend an online training. The training does not make us mental health professionals or counselors or therapists. The primary goal is to teach people how to listen, to teach people how to recognize signs, and to teach people what to do if they recognize the signs. This course really helped me recognize those keywords or little things like if they're sitting a little bit more rigid in their chair rather than being relaxed or if they're not like making jokes or laughing like they normally do, how to recognize that and kind of adapt the conversation into something that can be more supportive. When we stop and we listen and we really connect with people and go, I wanna hear your story. People then feel connected to you, like somebody actually cares about me. And that is the first steps for somebody to go, oh, this isn't so scary to share my story. You know, one of the big things is I've always had it in myself knowing that mental health is a huge thing, um, but I never had the confidence to talk about it. Um, sorry, it's it's still tough because, I mean, I mean, just on the outer appearance, it seems like everything you know is going super smooth, but deep down inside, it, it's a struggle. Um, and Stuart has given me the confidence to talk about stuff like that. So 
I really appreciate it. It's my instinct to love people and to care for people. When I first discovered the concept of addressing mental health and bringing awareness to mental health from behind the chair, I basically had to make a choice of either I do nothing about it or I do something about it. Anyone that's watching this and listening to this, I want them to know that regardless of where they're at, that they're loved and they have value and purpose. There is meaning to all of this, even if you can't see it. Funding for this edition of KBTC Profiles provided by the KBTC Association. KBTC Profiles are available at kbtc.org.